Hi, it's Rod, and this one's called Satan's Child Training. In John 8, verse 44, Jesus said to the religious leaders, Your father is Satan. He's a liar and a murderer, and you want to be just like him. Jesus also said, I tried to tell you the truth, but you don't want to listen to me. So it's sort of like there is a uh, Satan's kind of child training, and there's a God's kind of child training. We get two choices as our father, Satan or God or whatever. There's no third choice. <laughs> Lots of people in the world think there is a third choice, uh, just human parents or whatever. But uh, they have a spiritual father, whether it's Satan or God, and they decide. So if you go back to the Garden of Eden, you see Satan trying to... Uh, <clears throat> get God's children not to be God's children anymore and to be his children and try to train them up in lies and sin against uh, God the Father or whatever and we got the same thing going on in society today in 2012 people picking fathers who am I gonna listen to today Satan or God <laughs> whose child am I gonna be today Satan or God who do I want to train me today Father Satan or Father God? When Jesus was teaching and training a group of men or whatever, it was like uh, Jesus said, when you've seen me, you've seen the Father. It was like Father God training his children or whatever. <laughs> Here's my little children, John, Peter, Luke, whatever. And uh, Judas, whatever. <laughs> and uh, God's trying to teach him. Or Father God's trying to teach him. Jesus is trying to teach him. The right way to live, the successful way to live. We were created to become like our father or whatever. <laughs> if uh, God is our father, we become more loving like God is love. If Satan is our father, we become more selfish and evil like Satan is or whatever. It's like our beliefs and actions reveal who our father is. A liar, a murderer, a thief, or... Um, Somebody who's loving and uh, giving. Someone who seeks to uh, believe truth, not lies. Uh, help people out, not hurt them or whatever. So when we look at this world, we see most people have uh, Satan as their father. They've been trained to be his children, to be evil like he is or whatever. And... They seek to uh, try to get rid of uh, God's children or whatever. Satan wants to take over the whole world, get everybody uh, being his children, and uh, try to get everybody not to be God's children or whatever. Like he was doing in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve or whatever. Don't be God's children, be my children or whatever. Don't believe that Father God's the right choice. Believe that Father Satan's the right choice or whatever. Don't believe obeying God is the right choice. Don't take that fruit from the tree of knowledge. Believe that obeying Father Satan is the right choice. Take the fruit from the tree of knowledge. Don't think God's going to punish you if you sin against them. And Adam and Eve chose to make Satan their father. Follow him. Be trained by him. Be his children. Take the fruit from the tree of knowledge. Forget about God the Father. And then God's punishment came down on them for making the wrong choice to be children of Satan instead of children of God. What Jesus says about hell is it wasn't made for human beings. God doesn't want human beings to go there. They can choose to go there though. If they don't want to receive God the Father's salvation or be trained by Him in how to understand truth and believe in it, then they go with Satan into his hell or whatever. If they want to be like Satan, they go to the prison like Satan that God made for them called hell or whatever. Satan doesn't get forgiven of any of his sins, and if we don't believe in Jesus to take our punishment for our sins, we go to hell too, and we're not forgiven for our sins forever in hell. So it's like Satan's trying to lead people into hell. He's trying to train them to be children of hell or whatever. His children. Don't believe in truth. Don't believe in Christianity. Don't believe there's a hell. He goes on and on with his lies, lies, lies. And people choose to believe them. For his first lie is he doesn't exist. The demons don't exist. Satan doesn't exist. It's just your own 
voice in your mind that's leading you around, that's fathering you or whatever. Some voice is telling you what's right or wrong, your conscience or whatever. Really, it's Satan. And he's trying to get you to believe lies and do evil and end up in hell. Like Jesus said in John 8, verse 44, I'm trying to tell you the truth. Don't listen to Satan, your father. Listen to God, your father. Make God your father, not Satan, your father, guys, religious leaders. If God were your father, you wouldn't try to murder me, Jesus said. Because Satan's your father, you want to murder me. And that's the way it goes. Satan's a murderer, and he hates Christians. He'd love to murder them, but he can't do anything unless God allows him to. God's our protection or whatever. If we choose to walk away from God, we walk away from his protection. If we want to follow Satan and believe his lies, we can come under God's wrath like Sodom and Gomorrah and be gone in punishment or whatever. And if we want to believe Satan's lies, we can go to hell too. I don't need to get saved. There is no hell. There is no Satan. It's just me and my thoughts or whatever. This is just the voice of my own good reason that I shouldn't be a Christian. I shouldn't get saved. There is no hell. I should be an atheist. Sin is a good idea or whatever. Selfishness is the way to success or whatever. And uh, not love. Stay away from that stuff. <laughs> that's failure or whatever. Trying to do something for somebody else, that's failure. Just think of yourself as Satan, your father or whatever. So God's trying to train people to be his children. Adam and Eve, this is the right way to do things. Satan's trying to train people to be his children. Adam and Eve, this is the way to do things, whatever. Children of Satan believe Satan's lies. Children of God believe God's truth. It's a free will decision for us. Whose child, whose, whose child do you want to be, Satan or God's? If you want to be God's child, then you have to get born again. We're all kind of born Satan's children until we make a decision to be born into God's family, be adopted into his family or whatever. It says in the Bible that almost the whole world is uh, deceived by the devil's lies and is under his control or whatever, under his sway or whatever. And like Jesus said, only a few people want to decide to be God's children and be like uh, Jesus and God's child, Jesus, whatever. We're supposed to be trying to be trained by God to become more like His Son, Jesus Christ. Uh, so, people following God as their Father will try to be more like Jesus. They'll try to be more like a teacher of truth, a loving person, loving towards God, loving towards others. Jesus had some disciples, like His children, trying to teach them like a father. He was trying to teach them how to love God like he loved God. And when he died on the cross, that was his greatest lesson of how to love God with all your heart or whatever. Trying to teach them truth to believe in. Trying to teach them how to love God and love others. And telling them about the consequences of choosing to be a child of Satan or choosing to do sinful things that God that displease God and he punishes. Because God is love, he punishes unloving behavior. And that's a good thing. So, if we are God's children today. We're more like Jesus is. We like to pray. We like to read the scriptures. We lead, like to learn truth from God and His Holy Spirit. We like to try to teach truth to others. We're interested in a career of disciple making, teaching and training people God's truth. There may be times when we're doing miracles with God's power to help people believe in Him and stuff like that, like Moses or Jesus at a certain point in their life, or even Paul in the book of Acts Church. We're trying to teach people to make God their Father, trust in Him, hear His voice, find out what His will is for their lives to do, and get busy doing it with His power to do it. And stop being Satan's children. Satan's always trying to get people not to believe in truth, not to become saved, not to become God's children. And if they do become God's children, then he's trying to tempt them to forget about that and go back to the world or whatever, go back to being his child or whatever. It's like when you become a Christian, Satan's saying, why don't you come back <laughs> and be my child again or whatever. And we got that decision. Do I want to stay being God's, the Father's child or do I want to go back to being Satan's child again or whatever before I was saved? And like a prodigal child, we can walk away from the Father's house and go back to making Satan our father and going back into sin and destruction or whatever. 
So life is a decision to either be a child of Satan or a child of God. You can deceive yourself, say I'm nobody's child, but you really are. If you're not God's child, you're Satan's child. If you're not Satan's child, you're God's child. We didn't make ourselves. Uh, there is a God, there is a Satan. But people just, if they don't want to believe it, well, they just get confused and uh, follow Satan like he wants them to follow him. Believe there is no Satan, there is no demons. Okay, Father Satan, I'll believe that or whatever. This is just the voice of my own good reason. Yes, I should make that decision or whatever. I shouldn't obey God, I should do evil or whatever. That thought just comes into my mind or whatever. I shouldn't have sex within marriage, I have, should have sex outside of marriage. I shouldn't abstain from getting drunk, I should get drunk or whatever. And uh, whatever is the opposite of what God wants, loving things God wants us to do, Satan wants people to do or whatever. And they become like his slaves, his children or whatever, and they do whatever he says or whatever. Satan has to train his children through deception. If they really knew the truth, they'd say, I don't want to believe this stuff. I don't want to learn this stuff. Get away from me, Satan, or whatever. This is going to take me over a cliff or whatever. Destroy me. If Adam and Eve had understood the consequences of taking that fruit from the tree of knowledge as their father, Satan, was telling them to do or whatever, they would have said, no thanks. If they saw losing paradise, if they saw growing old and dying, if they saw separation from God and guilt and their, un their happiness gone, their depression and fear starting up or whatever, they'd say, it's not worth the taste of that fruit <laughs> type stuff. But instead, Satan made it sound like this is going to make you fulfilled forever. Take the fruit. And he does that with sin in our life. This is really going to make you happy doing this sin or whatever. And then you do the sin and you say, wow, I don't feel very good. What do I got to try to do next to be happy again? Satan gives another suggestion. Try this sin, a worse one or whatever. Until people are destroying their lives with wicked sin and addictions and dying and going to hell and stuff like that. All because they want to be deceived. They want to listen to a lie. It's sort of like uh, Satan tries to train this world, sort of like a circus trainer, training elephants or animals or whatever. He holds out a little food or something like that to train them with. And uh, if they do what he says, he gives them a little physical pleasure or something like that. Here's a peanut elephant or whatever. You uh, lied to somebody. Uh, you had sex outside of marriage or whatever. A little bit of pleasure or whatever. But there's God's punishment on that kind of stuff. God wants people to choose to be his children. He wants people to choose to love each other. Like Jesus was trying to train his children, his disciples. And uh, most of the world does not want to do what God wants them to do. Like Adam and Eve, they want to choose to make Satan their father, not God. And they want to be unloving and selfish and destructive instead of loving and good. They want to choose the wrong choice, not the right choice. They want to choose the lie, not the truth. So, sometimes I go by schools or my old high school or something and I think, what a bunch of brainwashing or whatever. There's no truth in there. <laughs> I had to learn truth uh, myself, reading the Bible, going to some churches and stuff like that. I didn't find it in my high school or whatever. <laughs> and, uh, well, it was kind of interesting when I first, uh, when I was a little kid in kindergarten or whatever. Well, in nursery school, I was in a nursery school in a Baptist church basement or something like that. And the Sunday school teacher was my nursery <laughs> school teacher or whatever so they cared about talking about God and stuff like that and you seen from their example they were trying to be children of God or whatever my kindergarten teacher in public school was a I think a, probably a Baptist Sunday school teacher or whatever and she would be putting like uh, stories of Noah's Ark and Jesus and stuff like that up on a flannel board to tell the kids stories or whatever at that young age and you're just a little kid saying, what? why is the teacher at school telling me to believe in God and Noah and stuff like that? <laughs> and Jesus. <laughs> when my parents, uh, they couldn't care less about <laughs> God or anything like that. Well, my parents are children of Satan or whatever. There's a child of God down at the kindergarten teaching truth or whatever. That's probably why I am the way I am or whatever. <laughs> And then on TV, they'd have this TV show uh, made by a church or something like that that I liked, uh, Davy and Goliath or whatever. It was all about God and 
there was even salvation messages in it and stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to school, and my teacher's a Sunday school teacher in public school. I'm coming home to watch TV, and they got uh, little cartoon type stuff about uh, God and stuff like that on regular TV when I'm a kid or something like that. Then I start hanging around uh, in kindergarten and grade one with a Pentecostal minister's son <laughs> and start going to his church and stuff like that. But then eventually the world pulled me in. The, the kind of Christian teachers died out of the school and it was just the godless ones or whatever. <laughs> and uh, Satan was working on me to train me in school to believe lies, to be his child or whatever, to not care about God as a father or anything, like that. to forget about God. That's mostly the way Satan trains or whatever. Just don't mention Christianity or just don't mention any truth from Christianity or whatever. Try to get everybody believe that uh, Christianity is a fairy tale or something and uh, we're just animals and evolution is true and atheism is the wise choice to believe in or whatever. And then as I'm growing up Satan's taking over the television to get rid of the Davy and Goliath type shows. <laughs> Get rid of the Christian school teachers, whatever, and just leave it uh, that uh, people don't go to church or don't learn anything in school about God or don't learn anything about God on TV or whatever. It would just have to be maybe a relative as a Christian or something trying to influence the ungodly families around them or whatever. So I went on this uh, prodigal son journey with God. Maybe I had some faith in God when I was in kindergarten or something when I was younger, but then I just walked away and got into following Satan into the rock music and the uh, moral sex and the drunkenness and the drugs, whatever, <laughs> with my teenage friends in uh, high school or whatever. So Satan's plan is to take over the minds of the people in the world, make them his children, uh, get rid of Christianity, get rid of truth. If there is a Christianity, make it something that he controls or whatever. <laughs> Satan's into control of this world, to control the governments with the Illuminati, to control the schools with the godless uh, teaching that they uh, promote there. And it's a lot like animal training school or whatever. They train, they change the curriculum for from uh, academic learning to something like dog training or whatever. And the corporations started to take over the food and the work and all that kind of stuff in society. And they just kind of train people to choose to be godless and to work for Satan's uh, slave factories or whatever in the future or whatever, corporations or whatever. Well, uh, we're going to train you to be a good worker at McDonald's or Walmart or some other factory or to be in the service industry or to be working for Satan's government in the future or whatever. And uh, when you go to school and stuff like that, they don't tell you the truth there. That's brainwashing. They, they teach you history and stuff like that, uh, sociology and stuff like that, but it's not the truth or whatever. It's lies. So... Uh, Godless people teaching people to be godless or whatever. People believe in lies teaching other people to believe in lies. People with Satan as their father trying to train other people to be children of Satan too or whatever. It's like a big satanic cult. <laughs> if you're not a Christian, you're in a satanic cult. <laughs> Satan's your father and you do what he says. It's not just the Illuminati worshiping Satan. It's everybody who's not a Christian. Satan wants to train them all to remain his children. Or if they become Christians, go back to being his children or whatever. And he does it like dog training. Like back in the Garden of Eden or whatever. I'll give you this little fruit from the tree of knowledge, Adam and Eve, if you do what I say. Oh, that sounds like a good idea, Satan. Whatever. God's saying, stay away from that stuff. You're saying it's good for us. I'll believe you, Satan, or whatever. You be my daddy. I want to learn from you, Satan. And so, Adam and Eve chose to do what their father, Satan, was telling them. Forget about Father God. Do what Father Satan's saying. We're supposed to be seeking Father God and trying to stay close to him and staying away from Satan and resisting him and doing what Father God says and believing that's the way to success, not what Father Satan says, and that's the way to failure or whatever. If people were choosing to be trained by God to be his children, they'd be like Jesus. They'd be disciple makers. They'd be church leaders. They'd be uh, like uh, the Book of Acts church, whatever, loving each other, loving God, the godly people on the earth or whatever. Instead, what do we see when we look around us? The godless, the, the children of Satan, 
the the churches there's churches there but they're ruled by satan or whatever satan's kind of christianity or whatever satan tries to teach people lies satan tries to teach people what the bible means and they get it wrong <laughs> they got a satanic version of the bible not god the father's version of the bible or whatever they got satan's version of history in public school and high school and stuff like that not god's truthful history of uh, what happened in the past or whatever satan's trying to tell them that the evil people are the good people and you should try to be like them sort of like uh, that uh, people like homer simpson or whatever are the people to try to be like or whatever that's the way to live a successful fun life or whatever not being a christian sinning against god treating your children with hate not love and stuff like that homer trying to be a child of satan trying to train bart to be a child of satan just like in my own family at home or whatever my father trying to follow satan as his father and training me to be like him or whatever but if you grew up in a family with a Christian father or whatever, then you could learn to be more like Father God through trying to be more like your f father who was trying to be a child of God or whatever. You could learn to be a child of God like your f human father was trying to be a child of God or whatever. Just like Jesus and the disciples trying to be a child of God like Jesus was a child of God or whatever. But in most of this world, and in the churches too, they're training people to be a child of Satan, not a child of God. So we have a choice as we grow up. We could have had human parents that act like Satan or whatever, ch children of Satan. We can decide we don't have to continue to do that. <laughs> Satan can tell us, yeah, be just like your dad or whatever, be an atheist or whatever. Don't be a Christian, like maybe relatives or whatever. <laughs> and uh, we decide. We can choose to get born again into God's family. I was around 25 when I chose to get born again. My family's still not children of God. They're still children of Satan or whatever. That doesn't bother me, no. I found what I'm looking for. I found the Father I want. Not Satan, God or whatever. And Father God teaches me about Father Satan, and he says, stay away from that guy or resist him type thing. And it's a trust issue, a faith issue. Do I trust Father God's telling me the truth, or do I trust Father Satan's telling me the truth? Adam and Eve chose to trust in Satan, and it caused terrible consequences. Jesus chose to trust in God, and it, it produced great consequences. He's now the king of the universe. <laughs> the highest position of all. If you want to be successful, you need to be like Jesus, because he was the most successful child of God on the earth, human being on the earth. That's what the school should be teaching people. Be like Jesus. The church says, be like Jesus, but they're not really doing that type thing. <laughs> they're telling people to be more like Homer Simpson, be a child of Satan or whatever. But uh, that's what the world wants to do. Make Satan their father and do his will and believe lies and teach it to their children. Like Jesus said about the generation he was in, you're a wicked and perverse generation. And uh, that's what happens. Parents choose to be children of Satan. They train their children to be children of Satan and their children grow up to train other people to be children of Satan until they're like a Sodom and Gomorrah following Satan type society or whatever. Then God's punishment comes down on their wickedness. What we see around us now is like a Sodom and Gomorrah child of Satan society that's ready to be punished severely by God the Father. Because he's a good loving God. He doesn't want to allow that kind of evil behavior to continue unpunished. But like no one in our earth, God can help his children through it. Like the book of Acts church, he can help his children through it. The book of Acts church was in a time of God's punishment on the land for its wickedness. Jesus was in a time of God's punishment on the land for his wickedness. They were choosing to make Satan their father. They were a wicked and perverse generation. And God brought famine on the land. And God brought a brutal police state of the Romans on the land to take up slaves or whatever. Yet the Book of Acts church were functioning like a uh, family of God or whatever. Brothers, sisters in Christ or whatever. Children being blessed by God. They weren't starving in the famine. The rich people were selling what they had and lovingly giving it to others. As God the Father told them to do. 
<laughs> they didn't love money. Satan's children love money more than anything else or whatever, instead of uh, people or God or whatever. They love God. They loved other people more than money. That's the whole society that we live in. It's, uh, it's chasing after money or whatever because they're all children of Satan or whatever. They're told that that's the way to happiness. Chase after that piece of paper money. Well, that paper money is going to soon lose its value and they're not going to have anything. And uh, they're in debt up their eyeballs. They've been following Satan, their father. They're a wicked and perverse generation. They've been trained to be evil like Daddy Satan or whatever. Now the wrath of God's coming down on them. Sickness, poverty, and death is ahead for the United States, for Canada, for the world. With the brutal New World Order police force. Why? Because they chose to be children of Satan, not God. But, as I said, you can be safe like Noah in an ark. Moses at the Red Sea. Daniel in Babylon. The Book of Acts Church in a time of famine and brutal police state because of the wicked people around them. Lot getting freed out of Sodom and Gomorrah before the wrath comes down. God can protect his children in the midst of his punishment of Satan's children or whatever. And uh, he can take them to heaven when they die instead of them going over the cliff into hell when they die or whatever. If you follow Satan, it's like he's holding a sin on a stick or whatever, a carrot on a stick. You're like a dumb elephant or whatever following him around. This is the way to success, elephant, okay? And he just throws the stick over a cliff and the elephant jumps off into hell or whatever type stuff. It's like Adam and Eve. That fruit from the tree of knowledge isn't going to hurt you, Adam and Eve. God's a liar. I'm telling you the truth. Believe me. And uh, they took the fruit from the tree of knowledge and death came upon them. They went over the cliff. They lost paradise. They lost eternal life on earth. They started experiencing suffering and death. They were separated from God. They were guilty. Their emotions, their happy emotions were destroyed. When you go to hell, <laughs> there's no forgiveness there. God's warning people of it. Don't listen to Satan. Don't think you don't need to get saved. Don't think there is no hell. And then they just, if they believe Satan's lie, they die and they go to hell. If they believe God's truth, they try to get saved from that. As a free gift through believing in Jesus' death on the cross to save him from it. Satan's trying to lead people into hell. Jesus is trying to lead people away from hell and away from Satan as their father. But few people are wanting to follow Jesus. It's like Jesus is going to the Father's house. Come follow me, prodigal son. This is the right way. Satan's trying to say, no, don't follow Jesus to the Father's house. We're going into prostitution and drunkenness and wasting our money and stuff like that to the pig pen or whatever. He doesn't tell them you're going to end up in the pig pen this way, but they do. Starving in a pig pen or whatever. Going over the cliff into hell when they die or whatever. If they follow Satan's carrot on a stick or whatever, peanut on a stick for the elephants or whatever. Jesus is trying to lead him into heaven, the narrow gate, and uh, save him. He's trying to lead him to the cross and say, believe in this. I took all your sins away. And uh, they're not wanting to follow Jesus there. No, I don't believe in that Christianity stuff. There's no hell. I don't need what that cross means. I don't know what it means or whatever. I don't need the blood of Jesus. I don't need salvation. And they just die and go to hell. Because Satan lied to them, they were deceived. So Satan's busy, busy training his children on the world today. Satan's evil school or whatever. And people are like dumb elephants or whatever, falling around with a peanut on a stick or whatever. Here's some immoral sex, here's some paper money, here's some uh, selfishness or whatever, here's some pride or whatever. Come follow me, this is the way to success. Here's a video game, here's a... Uh, Simpsons on TV, here's a bar, here's some alcohol, here's some drugs, and it just goes on and on. Here's some Metallica music or whatever. And they just follow Satan around like an elephant with chasing a peanut on a stick or whatever. Adam and Eve with the fruit of the tree of knowledge, and he just throws the stick over a cliff and they jump after it or whatever. And it destroys them. Hell destroys people. Destroys happiness forever, type stuff. In hell, there's no forgiveness forever. Whatever you, sins you did, you get to think about your evil behavior forever and ever with no forgiveness or whatever. And the worst sins you did, the worse it is to think about such things. And to think about what you missed out on in heaven forever. Heaven's going to be about 10,000 better, times better than the earth experience. Hell's going to be about 10,000 times worse than the earth experience or whatever. And we decide. It's a motivation thing. 
God says, I am the way to success. Satan says, I am the way to success. Be my child, says God. Be my child, says Satan. And we decide. And our choices reveal whose children we are. I like to sin. I don't care about getting saved or whatever. I'm a child of Satan or whatever. Or uh, I, I want to get saved. I care about doing loving things. I'm a child of God or whatever. One ends up in hell forever. One ends up in heaven forever. And we make our decisions here on earth. It's like God made angels. Satan started to create evil in his, in his mind. And uh, God was going to kick him out of heaven. And he tried to convince a bunch of other angels to follow him and let him be the God of their lives, the demons, whatever. And they were kicked out of heaven. And the same thing Satan's trying to do to people today, whatever. Adam and Eve, uh, you should follow me. Like he was telling the, the other angels to do, which fell and become demons or whatever. And uh, if people choose to be as children like Adam and Eve, then they get kicked out of the presence of God too. People that aren't Christians are not in the presence of God. The only way into the presence of God is through Jesus' death on the cross and his shed blood and faith in it. Nobody gets close to God, nobody gets peace with God unless they believe in the cross and the blood of Jesus to take their sins away or whatever. Satan does not want anybody to understand what the cross means. He doesn't want evangelism. He doesn't want preaching the truth. You don't see it on TV much. You don't see it in Christian books in the Christian bookstore much. You don't hear about it in churches much. Why? Because Satan's got almost full control of the world. And most people are his children. And at the right time, God's going to punish these people severely. And the only safety in it is being a child of God. Having God as your father, protecting you, helping you, loving you, <laughs> making you happy in the midst of a world destroying itself as Satan's children or whatever. So if people go to hell, they have to think about, look at the heaven I missed out on. Look at the evil I have to think about forever, how worthless I was, the choices I made and stuff like that. I could have been a child of God, but I chose to be a child of Satan. Hell is going to be an awful place. People are not going to want to be friends in hell. They're just going to be thinking, of, they're just going to be depressed out of their mind and not want to talk to anybody and, and hate the people around them because they're so evil or whatever. And they have to think about their own evil or whatever. It's like when uh, people choose to look in the mirror today or something like that, a poor self image or something. We can look in the mirror and have the Holy Spirit, if we're God's children, telling us how wonderful we are and enjoy the, looking in the mirror. <laughs> this is a guy that God loves greatly or whatever. He forgives him of all of his sins. He's right here to help him, to uh, be a successful person on the earth and fill him with joy. Wow, I like this guy in the mirror. He's a child of God being blessed by God. <laughs> He's going to heaven forever when he dies. Instead of looking in the mirror and saying, I don't know if there's a God or not, and uh, I don't know if there's a hell or not, or um, other people in the world are so much better than I am, or whatever, and uh, I don't like who I see in the mirror, or whatever, I'm lonely, I hate myself, and stuff like that. That's what a child of Satan thinks when they're looking in the mirror, because the demons are telling them to think that way. You're worthless. Uh, God hates you. He won't forgive you. He doesn't love you. Uh, uh, you're a loser in life. You can't find all these things that you should have to be happy or whatever. You're not rich enough. You're not beautiful enough. You're not young enough. <laughs> you're not old enough or whatever. Just a thousand reasons to hate what you're looking in the mirror at or whatever. That's just lies. That's what Satan's children have to think. If you dyed your hair, then you'd be better or whatever. If you had more money, you'd be happy. If you got married, you'd be happy. If you got a better job, you'd be happy or whatever. You can't be happy now. This guy can't be happy in the mirror right now. But if you're a Christian, you can say, this is perfection. God made this. God loves this greatly. God's here to help me to be successful now. Dave stuff. No worry, no fear, no depression. Perfect emotions, God's way or whatever. You got a perfect father, you're a perfect child of his or whatever, and God perfectly forgives you and loves you. He's got loving things for you to do, and he likes what you're doing when you obey him and stuff like that. That's how to get a good self-image. That's how to like what you see in the mirror or whatever. Believe in what the Holy Spirit's truth in your mind about yourself. And the Holy Spirit's truth in your mind about who God is, your Father. To the extent you think God is awesome and great is to the extent you can feel like you're awesome and great when you look in the mirror. <laughs> that you're a success. Oh, when you, we think of the careers in heaven, wow. Kings and priests with Jesus forever. 
God, Father God did not spare his own son for me, the most valuable possession in eternity. He wanted to give it to me, a wicked sinner. I took it, and I say thank you, God. That's why I take communion, to celebrate the gift that God has given me. Eternal life in heaven. Great emotions here now on earth. Oh, it's just awesome being a child of God. But if you're a child of Satan, you're, you're a loser, you're just an animal, uh, try to eat more to be happy, try to have more sexual pleasure to be happy, try to entertain your mind off your awful thoughts or whatever, more rock music, get your mind off of who you are or whatever. Not a pleasant experience being a child of Satan and depression and anxiety and fear and guilt and stuff like that. Hating who you who you are, hating other people, hating God. That's the way Satan wants people to live, with hate. Hate God, hate others, hate yourself. God wants us to love Him, love ourselves, and love others. Love is the way to success. God wants us to form successful habits. He wants to teach us what are the right things to do and get in the habit of doing them. Making teachings for Jesus about truth or whatever. Reading the Bible, studying it, understanding it, praying, taking communion. If people want to do church like the book of Acts, do church like the book of Acts. If people want to be discipled by you, disciple them or whatever. Try to be like Jesus, the perfect example of success on life or whatever. Not Homer Simpson like Satan says, Jesus like God says. Choose to be like a good sheep of God or whatever of Jesus my sheep hear my voice I know them they follow me that the, the Holy Spirit wants to be our teacher he wants to lead us into teaching us the Holy Spirit the Spirit of Father God wants to teach us to be his children or whatever and he wants to use the Bible as a training manual a lot of people they want to read every other book on earth except for the Bible and that's the success manual or whatever. Satan says, no, that, not the Bible, anything else. You can't read the Bible. He tries to keep people from thinking the Bible's important or interesting or whatever. But if the Holy Spirit's teaching you great things from the Bible, you love that book more than anything else. If Satan's your father, then you hate that book more than anything else. You certainly can't understand what's written in it if Satan's your teacher. Most of these people, atheists and that, they read the Bible, but it's the wrong interpretation of it. It's a satanic, uh, hating God type thing, version. <laughs> the atheist version of the Bible, the satanic version of the Bible. Same Bible, but they can't understand the truth of it. They can only understand lies when they look at it. So, as people choose to make Satan their father, then this whole world gets controlled by it. The banking system, the government's the school teachers, the curriculums, the churches, etc. And they're all believing lies. They're not thinking what's important. Uh, if they did think was important, what was important, they'd be teaching the cross and salvation and preaching the gospel and stuff like that. Teaching people to love each other in churches that meet regularly, like the Book of Acts Church or whatever. But because they want to follow Satan, they don't want to do that kind of stuff. When you go into a Christian bookstore, you see lots of books, but uh, there's not much truth in them. <laughs> When you go to a library, there's lots of books, but there's not much truth in them. That's what Satan wants to do. Get everybody to like the junk, like the lies or whatever. When you look at it, stuff on TV, is there any examples of good, loving, uh, successful Christian children or whatever of God? No. <laughs> Unless you put on a DVD of the Jesus movie or something. <laughs> or read the Gospels and the Bible. That's where you get the information of how to be successful. The Bible, scripture, movies that are Bible, cartoons and stuff like that. Meditating on that stuff. Not watching The Simpsons. Ned Flanders is not the kind of Christian that God wants us to be. And Homer Simpson's not the kind of child of God he wants us to be. But yet that is the input of most people today. Watching the godless people on TV. Going to the godless schools and being taught lies there. They're just, their minds are full of lies, and all they do is meditate on lies. Their friends are godless. Their school curriculum's godless. Their churches can be godless and stuff like that. It's just a godless society. It's a child of Satan society or whatever. It's like a whole group of elephants following Satan like a Pied Piper with a peanut on a stick or whatever, and they all get to a cliff, and he dumps the stick with the peanut over, and they all go over the cliff or whatever. They were trained, trust in Satan, trust in his lies. There is no Christianity, or there is no God. Christianity ain't true. 
there is no hell. Sin's a good idea. Carry it on a stick or whatever. Do this sin, and then they get punished later or whatever, like Adam and Eve, like some dumb animal training an elephant or something like that. God's wanting to train us, sort of like animal training, but with truth and with love and stuff like that. And that leads to success. It leads to walking into heaven, not going over a cliff or whatever into hell. Saves you from hell, gets you into heaven or whatever. The truth. Satan's got lies on a stick. God wants truth on a stick. The Bible, not the atheist manuals or whatever. The God delusions and stuff like that. It's like these societies didn't get evil overnight. Sodom and Gomorrah just didn't jump into crime overnight or whatever, sin against God or even Israel. It was like a, a frog in a boil, pot of boiling water. A little bit of sin, a little bit of worse sin, a more sin until they can't, they're so sinful and debased mind that they are not obeying any of God's laws and they think love is a waste of time and selfishness is success or whatever. Racing after a piece of paper money or whatever, like a rat in a maze or whatever, for a reward or something like that, and pushing everybody out of the way to get it or whatever. And uh, the whole money system is like a Ponzi scheme ready to collapse or whatever. Everybody's in that up, dead up to their eyeballs. Their good paying jobs have left. They can work at McDonald's, Walmart, or temporary services in our town. And, uh, oh, it's just awful what society's turned into today a wicked and perverse Sodom and Gomorrah type generation. And when God is ready to punish, he's ready to punish or whatever. When Israel gets wicked enough, they go into slavery to the uh, Egyptians or whatever. If they want to repent and obey God, then they can be released from that slavery and become free children of God again or whatever. And if they have to remain in that slavery to Daniel, he can give them favor, favor with their slave masters. He can give them... Uh, Joseph favor with his slave master or his prison master or whatever if they have to live in some kind of slavery for God's plan or whatever. There's protection and provision and love and happiness being a child of God. And there is destruction, choosing to be a child of Satan. Depression, evil, punishment of God type stuff. But most people on the earth want to choose that. So we just look around and see people, children of Satan, being destroyed by their sinful choices. They're eating junk food and getting cancer and diabetes and Satan saying, this is good for you, drink more Pepsi, eat more Kentucky Fried Chicken or whatever. Until the future comes and they're dying of diseases or whatever, take this flu shot or whatever. <laughs> drink that fluoride and chlorine or whatever, it's not going to hurt you. Take these prescription drugs or whatever, they're good for you. And... Uh, they get sick and poor and die or whatever. And uh, you just have to see that. And uh, it's like me going down to Honduras about 25 years ago or something like that. And seeing people sick and poor and dying. And then seeing other people that want to get saved and are being blessed by God. There was some good home churches in Honduras where people were happy sharing things with each other, blessed by God. And then there were stuff like orphanages with dying babies in it and people living in garbage dumps and little children sleeping on the street and stuff like that. People with machine guns outside the banks, whatever. And uh, the children of God were blessed and happy and prospering in an evil and wicked and suffering society like Central America can be and stuff like that. And that's the way it operates. I can be a happy... Uh, blessed by God, child of God in the city I'm living in in Canada right now and the rest of the people around me can be children of Satan being uh, destroyed by their sin and the punishment of God around me like no one in ark and the rest of the people drowning around us or uh, the book of Acts church in a time of famine and brutal police state in the book of Acts so we can't understand any reality or truth it's like people are living in a twilight zone they don't know what truth is there's chemtrail jet spraying in the skies. It's hurting your lungs or whatever. I don't see it. I don't believe it. The government says it's not true or whatever. That's the way Satan does things. Uh, you can look right at truth and Satan says, don't believe that. That's not true. To deceive them or whatever. That sounds okay. Nobody's getting hurt by it. But when you have the Holy Spirit in it, you see people dying of AIDS. You see uh, families being destroyed by adultery and stuff like that. You see the terribleness of pornography and prostitution and uh, destruction of families with immoral sexuality and stuff like that. 
it, it's hard to see children of God examples, good loving Christian fathers, good loving Christian mothers, good loving Christian husbands and wives, good loving Christian children or whatever, and good loving Christian families like God wants. God wants uh, fathers to have a good relationship with them, be a good child of God like Jesus was, and train their families to do likewise. Do we see much of that? All we see is the father looking at the pornography and going out to bars and committing adultery and getting divorced and re remarried and all that stuff, and the kids are feeling unloved and hurt and stuff like that and growing up to be like daddy, whatever. I want to look at pornography like daddy did. I want to go to the bars and pick up prostitutes like daddy did. I want to divorce my wife like daddy did or whatever. These hurting, wounded children that are uh, choosing to sign up with Satan to be haters of their parents and haters of life and stuff like that, like they are. There's an alternative for them. <laughs> get saved. Get born into God's family. Have God as your perfect, loving father instead. Forget about what the people on earth are choosing to do following Satan. And start to live a happy, contented, child of God life like Jesus did, like the apostles in the book of Acts Church did, like we can do today if we want to. So we've seen Satan training people like dumb elephants with uh, money and physical pleasures and this kind of a wealthy type world in the last 40 years or whatever. Now the wealth's going to be taken away from the middle class or whatever. And he's going to use fear to, to uh, control them next. Terrorism and stuff like that. He's getting ready to do it. It's not the government thinking this stuff up. Let's uh, destroy the money system with the banking system. Let's uh, bring in a brutal police state to try to keep calm the, uh, what do you call it, rioters or whatever, looters. It's Satan thinking this up. Okay, uh, they've had enough peanuts for the elephants. Now get out the big sharp stick and start jabbing them with it. We want to get them off the... Get them to walk over that cliff into hell. We got to start jabbing them hard with the uh, sort of like a spear they used to get the elephants to do what they want if they're stubborn. Okay, we got no peanuts left, elephant, but we still want you to go to hell and believe our lies and start jabbing them with the the discipline stick or whatever. This reminds me of a movie I seen last year called Water for Elephants. Maybe that's why God's trying to teach me some stuff about elephant training and Satan now or something. So get ready to lose the value of your money, middle class. Get ready for fear with a brutal police state or whatever. If you're a child of Satan, it's not going to be a pleasant experience. It's going to be a lot worse than going to the mall and buying video games and going to Kentucky Fried Chicken or something. You'll be looking for whether you can afford food or not, electricity or whatever. In the future that Satan has planned for his children, Satan's 2012 and beyond. And what God the Father tells me to do is just try to be a good child of His. If other people want to get saved and be children of His too, then form something like a Book of Acts church and help each other out as He's punishing the wicked with sickness, poverty, and death all around. The best protection, the best safety for when God's punishing the wicked like Sodom and Gomorrah or the people in the days of Noah is a good relationship with God like Noah had. Like Lot had or whatever, some faith in God. Like Daniel had. Like Jesus had. Like the apostles had. The world can be a very evil place with Satan as the ruler of it. But God can help us out in the midst of it. His power, His grace is greater than all the evil in this world. God made the world. He made all the demons. He made Satan. He made me. <laughs> made all the evil people. And He's controlling it all. He's given them a free will. They can decide what they want to do and stuff like that. He can protect his righteous. He can punish the wicked or whatever, destroy them. Satan's trying to train us in his lies. God's trying to train us in his truth. What are we believing in our mind? Satan's lies about God. Satan's lies about who we are. Satan's lies about life. Satan's lies about heaven or hell. Or God's truth about who he is, who we are. What, what the cross means, uh, how to get saved, heaven and hell. Are we choosing to have a mindful of God's truth or a mindful of Satan's lies? Are we choosing to be a child of God, having him train us to be a child of his? Or a mindful of lies being trained by Satan to be a child of his? 
Jesus said you can know the truth and the truth will set you free. Set you free from your father Satan or whatever. Give you a new father, a wonderful, loving father God instead. If you want to choose to learn God's truth, you can have a mind full of truth and you can resist putting Satan's lies in it anymore. Or you can choose to remain with a mind full of Satan's lies, being trained by him in lies. Repentance is, the word means to change. We can be believing in lies, we can change to be believing in truth. The cross doesn't mean anything to me, or the cross means everything to me type thing. I don't need to get saved, or I do need to get saved. I do need to be taught and trained by a higher power, God, the Father, whatever, if I'm ever going to understand the way to live a successful life as a human being or whatever. God knows how to how to uh, train a human being to be successful. He's my uh, school teacher. He's my loving dad. I need a higher power's wisdom and help, help if I'm ever going to learn how to successfully live on this earth or whatever. I need a successful father before I can be a successful child. Satan's on his way to hell. People that want to be his children will be on their way to hell with him. God is going to invite his children into eternal life in heaven forever. If you want to go to heaven, you have to become a child of God or whatever. You want good emotions, the right thoughts, liking who God is, liking who you are and stuff like that. You have to let God teach you the truth in your mind about him and you or whatever. You got to get those lies of the devil out of there. God would like men to choose to become children of his and uh, if they desire to get married to be a loving husband to their wives and a loving father to their children that's God's plan Satan's plan is destroy all that destroy the family just have everybody selfishly living for immoral sexual pleasures and money and sin and stuff like that with no love in a godless world or whatever and God would like men to learn to be teachers of other men, like Jesus and the disciples. If they want to remain single, if they want to be teachers of other men, like Jesus and the disciples, like Paul and the Book of Acts Church or whatever, that can be one of the highest things to do on earth for God or whatever. Learn his truth and try to teach it to others. Whether you're a parent of children or a husband or a, fa a husband of a wife or whatever or a church leader God would like us to try to train men to be church leaders like the book of Acts or whatever and have these uh, churches for people to go to to learn more about how they can be a successful child of God we don't see much of it and uh, that's what God's plan is parents loving Christian parents training their children to be loving Christian children or Parents choosing to be children of God, training their children to be children of God. Or disciple makers like Jesus, men training men to be children of God like they are children of God. And that's what the church should be about, like a training school on how to be a good child of God or whatever. Then people would start to become more successful in life if they all wanted to become children of God instead of children of Satan or whatever. So that's a bit about uh, Satan's child training and a bit about God's child training. To help people to understand who they are more. <laughs> Am I a child of Satan or a child of God? Am I a successful person or a failure? God's way is the way to success, love. Satan's way is the way to failure, selfishness, whatever. Sin instead of obedience. So, Father, try to help people to understand what re reality really is. What life's really about. It's about child training. And uh, <laughs> needing a father and uh, deciding which father we want. Like Adam and Eve, we want Satan as our father to bring destruction on our lives, Sodom and Gomorrah. Or like uh, Moses or Joseph or Daniel or Jesus or Paul, seeking God as their father and finding success in life. Not just in this life, but in an eternal life in heaven forever after they die. My life doesn't end when I, this body falls down dead in the ground or whatever. That's when I soar into my new life in heaven, my eternal life in heaven, my new career in heaven. 
Yeah, if I continue to have faith in God, if I continue to want to be a child of God while I live here, I can have good emotions on earth and I can have uh, awesome emotions in heaven after I die forever. Free from the lies, free from the depression, free from the anxiety. Free to be, have a mind filled of love, joy, and peace. Why? Because my daddy God's so great. So I pray, Father, help us to understand how great of a father you are. How awful a father Satan is to follow. And help us to understand your way to become born into your family through the death of your son Jesus Christ. Help us to receive the gift of your Holy Spirit to fill us, to make us more like you are. A good, loving God who gave us a free will. And most people choose to use it to do evil like Satan or whatever. And teach us how you can help us to survive and thrive through this evil world that Satan controls and all the children of Satan in it and stuff like that. Help us to become born into your family and uh, successful children of yours, Father. In the name of your Son, Jesus, I ask it too. Amen. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life.